All right, good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, June 14th. All right, just kind of looking over. Looks like we may be getting a higher opening on the Dow this morning. <clears throat> After what we saw yesterday, it wouldn't surprise me to see our higher opening here. So we'll see. I don't know if that's going to hold itself. But let's take a look real quick and let's see what we're going to be trading this morning. So those on YouTube and Facebook, thank you for joining us this morning. Once again, everything that I'm showing here is for demonstrational purposes only. Remember, trading is risky. Never trade with real money unless you've um, practiced in a simulator. If you can be profitable in a simulator, you may be ready to go live. So once again, I'm looking at, okay, so we're going to be looking at um, the ES, which is going to be the uh, US 500 or the E-mini S&P. We're going to be looking at RTY, which is going to be our mini Russell. Going to be looking at YM for the mini Dow and NQ for mini NASDAQ. Uh, for futures or commodities, we're going to be looking at GC for gold, SI for silver, CL for crude, and NG for natural gas, and BTC for Bitcoin. And then for our, our Forex currency pairs, Aussie US, Euro US, and the US Yen. With the indices and the commodities, we're going to be using Einstein. That is a formula that provides us with a specific entry point, a profit target, and a reversal which means that if we don't hit our profit target and we hit the reversal price, we will reverse and go in the other direction and then it will provide us with a new target. On the currencies, we're going to be using uh, one of five patterns that we teach in our core package. And those trades usually last between four to five minutes. Only thing I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing a buy on the silver right now. I am seeing a buy on the silver. And target on that silver is going to bring us up to 2141, 2141. That is going to be our profit target. And then if we don't hit the profit target and we start going down, it uh, looks like we're going to be reversing at 2096. 2096. All right, so far pretty quiet this morning. Let's just have that short on. I'm sorry, just have the buy on the silver. I am looking for a possible short coming up over here on Euro. I am watching the Euro US.
All right, no go on that Euro US. Still long silver. I don't see anything in the indices. Nothing on gold yet. Nothing on crude or natural gas. And nothing on Bitcoin. It's still pretty quiet this morning. Not much. Not much really setting up right now. <clears throat>
Okay, just long silver right now. <clears throat> okay, getting a short on the yen, getting a 53 short on the yen. Let's see, let me double check that. I think it's a 143, yeah, 143, 53 short on the yen. Let's make that a 143.57, 143.57. Still long silver, silver target, Okay, pretty quiet starting off, kind of like we did yesterday morning, pretty quiet. Just long silver, still short this yen, going to exit this yen here in about 30 seconds. Not getting anything on uh, the E-mini S&P, mini Russell, mini Dow, mini NASDAQ, all quiet. Okay, that was a nice little win on the end, closing at 52. Another short on the yen, getting a double short on the yen. 55, 134.55 is that double short on the yen. 
If you're aggressive, you could take a 51, a 134.51. All right, All right, so we have our short yen on at 134.55, still long silver with the target at 21.41. And we're gonna exit this yen here in a little bit less than three minutes. What you're seeing on the screen on the end is that's a, what we call a double short. It's a pattern that overlays on top of another one. So it's a double short, very strong pattern. Okay, still short the uh, US yen at 55, 134.55, still long silver, target 21.41. Looks like I'm getting a reversal on the US yen. Looks like that's going to be a loss on the US yen. A real strong pattern, too. Really surprised. So, one win, one loss on the yen. Still long silver. Still pretty quiet morning. Not a whole lot going on. About another 10 minutes here before the Dow opens up. Looking for it to open, open up. Not expecting a big opening on the Dow. Let's take a look at our charts and let's see what the Dow looks like. couple gaps in the price now what you'll notice is that um, prices tend to fill up price gaps we've got a couple price gaps 
going on here. So wouldn't be surprised to see the market really try to come up and fill up some of these gaps. Not saying it's going to do it today, but we will eventually. If we want to go lower, really need to probably come up and fill up some of these gaps. So we'll see. There may be a attempt for it to rally up and try to fill up its gap from yesterday's morning. First gap is going to be uh, to fill it somewhere around that um, 31,425. So we'll see if it can attempt to do it today. All right. Just a few more minutes to go, and we'll get this bell opened up. We'll get some volatility in here. Let's just start to have some setups over here on the indices. Once again, if you're trading these indices, I highly suggest you don't trade more than one. My personal favorite is going to be RTY, then uh, which is going to be your mini Russell, then ES, which is your mini S&P 500. Now it's probably going to be YM as my as my I'm sorry, um, NQ is going to be my third favorite, and YM is going to be my fourth favorite. YM being the mini Dow, and NQ being the mini Nasdaq. I am getting a buy now on RTY. So that's going to start us off with a buy on the indices on RTY. Okay, target on that RTY is going to bring us up to 1729, 1729. That is going to be our profit target. If I need to reverse, I'm going to reverse it at 1714. Also getting a buy on the ES, getting a buy on the ES. Target on ES, which is the mini S and P, is going to bring us up to thirty-seven ninety-seven twenty-five. Reversal on ES going to bring us down to 37, 37, 59 and a half. Also getting a buy now on NQ, getting a buy on NQ. NQ is going to be your mini Nasdaq. Nat, mini Nasdaq. Target on that mini Nasdaq is going to bring us up to um, one fourteen eighty two and a half. And if I need to reverse, I'm going to reverse at 113.70. All right. Nothing yet on mini down. Mini down is probably going to trigger a buy here. So we're long. We got a buy right now going on on the uh, mini S and P, one on uh, mini Russell, and one on the mini Nasdaq. Still long silver. Getting a short now on natural gas. Getting a short on natural gas. This is going to line up with our overnight trade short. Gonna put a fairly tight stop on this gas at 
So this is going to be a stop and reverse to go long. Target on gas is going to bring us down to 79.95. Okay, so we're short gas, <clears throat> long um, the mini Russell, long the mini um, mini Nasdaq, and long the e mini S and P. Natural gas just hit profit target. For overnight trades, we're coming in short on natural gas. Also coming in short gold. Okay, a couple minutes to go before the Dow opens. I am expecting a higher opening. I wouldn't be surprised to see a, a quick pullback. We'll see. Still long though, coming in on it. On the mini S&P, mini Russell, and mini NASDAQ. All right, we're getting the Dow opened up here. It's going to be up 89.
Okay, we're still along the uh, the mini NASDAQ, still along the mini Russell, still along the uh, mini S&P, still along silver, waiting for target. Don't see anything on the currencies. <clears throat> Dow's up 28, up 30. Forty-five. A lot of bottom pickers trying to buy this down. We'll see what happens. Up 70. Watch an ES. You may get a reversal short here. Be careful on the ES. Reversal is going to be at 37.59 and a half. I will take the reversal. reversal. Wow, they're really hitting that gas. Natural gas is coming down really hard. And Dow still up 71. We're still long ES, RTY, still long RTY, still long NQ, which is a mini NASDAQ. Okay, we did now get a reverse sell on the uh, the mini Nasdaq. Let's get a new target on that. The target on that is now going to bring us down to uh, one thirteen thirty two and a half. And if we need the reverse, that's going to be a new reversal of uh, 
Still long RTY, still long ES. Short now on the mini NASDAQ. That's going to be an HF1 short. Hey, now coming up, up 95. So those on uh, Facebook and YouTube, thank you for joining us this morning. If you'd like uh, more information on the Einstein and also the, uh, the course strategy, I do have a lot of information and videos on my YouTube channel, Binary Pro Strategies. Reverse sell. So E is just reversed reverse and went sell. short. Short the US 500. All right, short now on RTY. Approaching target on uh, the mini NASDAQ. New target on RTY is going to bring you down to 1709, 
that is going to be the profit target, 1709. And reversal is going to be 1724. On the uh, ES, take a look. On the E mini S and P, we're going to be looking for a target of uh, thirty-seven forty-seven. And or if we need to reverse, we're going to reverse reverse at uh, thirty seven eighty four and a half. All right, uh, the mini Nasdaq did hit target. Still short RTY, 1709 is our target. Short ES, 3747 is our target. Long silver still. That's probably going to be a, a longer term play. Target of 2141. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Good morning. Profit target hit. All right, target hit on RTY. Uh, Still short ES, 37.47 is our target. Dow's pulling back a lot, pulling back a little bit, up 30 right now. Yes, getting closer to target of 37.47. Watching for a possible HF2 short coming up on natural gas. HF2 short now, short on natural gas. Well, couldn't get the alert in. Natural gas already hit target. Exit natural gas. Nice, John. Good job.
think I'm gonna get out of that ES that ES short small little profit starting to pull back on RTY starting to pull back on YM starting to pull back on NQ Yeah, we're still long silver. Okay, watching the US yen again now. Possible short coming up on the US yen. Getting a buy in now on the crude oil. Getting a buy on the crude oil. Okay, target on that crude oil is gonna crude oil is gonna bring us up to let's see here. 123, 123.65. 123.65. That is gonna be our profit target. Crude if we don't hit target, we're going to reverse at 122.15. Okay, we have a short now on this yen. Have a, do have a short on the yen. It's going to be a 37 short on the end, 134, 37 short. Still on crude, crude target 125, 60, 123.65. Still on silver, 21.41 target. Short the, uh, the yen, US yen, the 134.37.
Good morning, Glenn. How are you this morning? I'm watching uh, natural gas, see if we can get an HF2 or HF3 short. Right now we're long silver, long crude. Short the yen, 134.37. Uh, we'll be getting out of this yen here in about two minutes. Good, glad I'm glad you enjoy, Glenn. <clears throat> How's your trading going? I know you're trading core, right? I think you're trading core. John is also one of our members, Glenn. He trades um, he trades a lot of CB and Einstein. He does both. He does he does core, he does Einstein. I know he does some crystal ball. Okay, looks like we're gonna take a double short. We're gonna jump back in on this yen. I'm gonna take a 41 short on this yen. Taking a 41 short for a double. <clears throat> Yen's been tough this morning. That other loss, took a loss on that Yen short. Going to come back in and sell it again. Still on crude, still on silver. Getting a buy now, getting a buy on RTY, getting a buy on RTY. RTY is going to be your small cap. Target on RTY is going to bring us up to uh, 1724. 1724. Profit target hit. <clears throat> and if we don't hit target on RTY of 1724. I'm going to reverse down here at ES getting ready to turn into a buy, possible buy coming up on ES. 
possible buy coming up on YM. Already long on RTY, which is your mini Russell. YM is going to be your mini Dow. Still long crude. Still short to forty one on the on the yen. Here's the symbols once again on top right hand corner. Okay, getting triggered along on the e mini S and P. Getting triggered now on the mini Dow. That's going to be the first trade for the mini Dow. Target on ES. It's going to bring you up to thirty-seven eighty-four and a half. Thirty-seven eighty-four and a half. And if we need the reverse, we're going to reverse at thirty-seven forty-seven twenty-five. Profit target hit. And RTY did hit target. All right, those that are uh, those on YouTube and Facebook, once again, we're at the top of the hour, so we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, you can go to my uh, website, binarypostrategies.com, and uh, I do answer all my emails. So if you have questions, go ahead and go to that site. Click on Contact Us, and I will answer those questions for you. Also, make sure you check out my YouTube channel. Lots of educational material out there, and also information on my Einstein, and also on my core strategy. Uh, so everybody have a great trading day. Be careful in here. A lot of volatility, and uh, we'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. Have a good day.